Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I wanted to go ahead and talk about Candy and the Gang. Girl, I'm not gonna lie. You know, when I was watching, I was in the kitchen, and I watched the episode twice. Uh, so the first time I was watching the episode, I was just, you know, doing stuff around the apartment. And girl, when the show came off, girl, why I started dancing? So I guess I like the intro now. Anyways, so the episode starts off, Detroit grannies, I don't know who they are. You know, they came to the restaurant, you know, dressed up. I, guess, I, I assumed it was like two younger girls um, dressed like, you know, older women and they were twerking. It was a little funny, but it wasn't anything that just had me on the ground. Um, Brian, I thought it was a key key. Brian is a key key to me. Oh, girl. Um, when Brian told the customers, <laughs> okay, your food, your food will be out in a few days. <laughs> Brian be saying some of the funniest stuff. Um, so Shandrika. Shandrika has a shade line. It's called Shades by Drika. Um, Torian. Torian or Torin? Is it Torian or Torin? I think it's Torin. Um, he comes up to OLG. Um, and Shandrika leaves her post. <laughs> Shand <laughs> Shandrika. I'm trying not to yell because it's actually late. It's like three something in the morning. Shandrika, <laughs> girl, this is the problem, mama. Like, you literally just left the post. <laughs> it was like, girl, that'd be all right. Girl, let's go talk. <laughs> Shandrika better be glad she got a good personality because I would be tearing Shandrika up. That's the only reason why I don't really know Shandrika because Shandrika seems like she cool. Now, I'm going to tell you who I who could go is that Safari. I don't know what it is about Safari, but like when I think about Shandrika and Dominique, they seem like they would be cool, fun girls. Safari reminds me of that girl that goes everywhere with her boyfriend and she always has a stank look on her face. Like they could be out having a good time you know, at a dinner party or whatever, she's just gonna be sitting there. What's wrong? What, what's wrong? What's wrong? You okay, baby? I'm fine. I'm I'm enjoying myself. Just looking, just looking. That's what Safari gives me. That's what she gives me. Anyways, um, she basically um wants to get down to the bottom of who said, <laughs> who told. That she said what she said. Girl, we don't, Shandrika, girl. We're going to get into Shandrika later on. So she just wants to play basically how they know I said that, basically. Um, when she said, when Shandrika said, I don't know who said it because I talk so much ish. Girl, you just said that you don't, you talk so much ish that, girl, you, you forget half of the stuff you say. Anyways. Um, Candy's brother. I don't I don't remember them ever showing a picture of Candy's brother on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Girl, Candy's brother, the one who passed away? Girl. <laughs> I said, hey brother, I'm looking up at the sky. Like, hey, Patrick. Girl, you was fine. <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, um, Candy goes over to Melvin's and Patrick's apartment. Girl, I think that apartment is so cute. Like, the style of it, I think it's so cute. <laughs> Patrick wants to show, you know, give Candy a tour. You know, she's walking around. Um, he's telling her, you know, about what Safari, I guess, wants to, you know, wants to do to the apartment which I think is so weird that Safari has so much control over an apartment that is only half of Patrick's. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, she got a lot to say about an apartment that, girl, it's really quiet as it's kept. It's not even really yours. Like, you have to take in consideration your roommate, even when it comes to decorating. Now, what you do in your bedroom is what you do in your bedroom, but this open area, because she just can't come in here just doing what she want to do. Um... I didn't understand. Pat. The only thing I don't like about the apartment is that girl, the downstairs. They didn't, do they have a door? Because I did not see a door to Patrick's room. So I was like, 
if him, if, if I mean, not to be all in their business, but like if they want to have a little playtime, right? How do they do that with Melvin there and with no door? Does he just not care? Because I would be like, y'all need to close the door. <laughs> Anyways, um, she's basically can't, you know, Candy is looking at Patrick like, she got a lot of control, right? And then she makes a comment about Safari wearing the pants in the relationship. I said, well, girl, you wear the pants in yours <laughs> and you bring home the bacon. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with y'all. Some of y'all going to get, so I know some of y'all about to roll y'all eyes, but I decided this episode, I don't know what happened. I decided this episode that I low-key go off a candy burgers. <laughs> I low-key do. I love you do. Like, she's not up there with my girl Kenya. You know what I'm saying? She's not up there with Kimmy. You know what I'm saying? But girl, I low-key go up for Candy. I was just thinking about Candy and in the, in the moves that she's made and the things that she's done. And Candy really is a badass bitch. Like, I was like, this bitch really is like a bad bitch. I don't think Candy gets her flowers like she should. Like, I was really like, okay. And I think what it was was when I saw, and I was going to talk about this in another video, uh, when she was on the Ellen show. She, you know, hosted the Ellen show for, I guess, a day. And I was like, this bitch is really, like, making some moves. Girl. I said, okay, come on, Miss Candy. Girl. All right, anyway, we'll talk about that in my topics. Um, so... She was basically, she gave, you know, she gave him some good advice, you know, you know, listen, I, I, I'm i not too removed from reality to understand that a lot of people don't want you hanging around with or out with your, you know, your ex or a person who you had, you know, you've had sex with. I understand it. So I understand Safari not really feeling comfortable with Shandrika being at the party. With that being said, it also, somebody could say, well, girl, that means you just don't trust your man, right? You have trust issues. And I also look at it through another lens, too. Shandrika got a whole fiance. If Shandrika in June, her man don't care about, like, it shouldn't be a, because I would look at it like, well, I mean, girl, I guess she got a man now and they're engaged, which don't mean nothing because people can still be trifling, engaged, married, whatever. But I just think that girl, she Safari giving it too much. She, I felt like she kind of told on herself later on in the episode. Um, but she basically lets, lets him know that, you know, you're always a life of the party, right? And I think that this is where a lot of people go wrong because if Patrick is this person who likes to party and have a good time and have fun, now you're with this person who's kind of bringing, not bringing you down, but... You're not the mellow type of person that she is. So it's kind of like at some point, you're going to start to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not refuse, not regret. Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Y'all know the word I'm trying to think about. I can't think of it. But you're going to start to kind of feel some type of way once you know, it's kind of like, girl, I don't really just been, I don't really waste it. I'm not wasted, but it's kind of like, I don't really get to live my true authentic self. Like I'm the fun going out type of person. And now that I met this person and she want me in the house, like Patrick over there ringing or whatever he doing, he don't even know what he banging on. He just banging, just a bang. Bang, 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 bang. Girl, like Patrick, what are you, do you even know what you tapping? Girl, <laughs> like, are you just doing it because Safari told you to? To get into which to get in, to get in tune with yourself. You don't even know what's going on. Anyways, um so the managers meet up. Don Juan tells them um about Brandon. Is her name Dom Unique or Dominique? Girl. Cause I've been calling that girl Dominique for the longest. I could have sworn she said her name was Dominique. Maybe she said Dom Unique. I think it's because she do got a U in her name. But you know, black people will throw some letters in our name and still pronounce it a different way. Girl. Um. Anyways, so he basically tells the managers, Dom Juan tells the managers about Brandon and Dom. And he shows them the video, right? Inappropriate. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. 
Um, Candy, you know, it's kind of like, basically, we met at work, basically. But the thing is, Ty no longer works there. I think after they went public, right, or after they kind of, I guess, went, made it official, I think Ty stopped working. <laughs> and girl, he's like, <laughs> And Candy, and Candy brought him, and Candy gave, and Candy gave him some of her credit cards, and girl wrote him as a second card holder, <laughs> and so they drive in Candy's Range Rover. That's what Marlo said. Remember Marlo said that? <laughs> and then Candy let them let everybody know at the reunion that I could take care of every motherfucker in this building. I said, I know that's right. Um. Anyways, so um, the only thing I didn't like about this whole situation is, and maybe because I do have a soft spot for Brian, y'all already know Brian is my boy, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that's my brother, that's my sister, right? So I'm just like, I just didn't like how he mentioned Brian's sobri sobri sobriety in front of Philip. I don't know why that bothered. I don't know why that bothered me, but it bothered me. It did. I just felt like if you were going to mention something so personal about Brian, it probably. And even I know Philip is a manager, but I, I I just don't like how he mentioned that in front of Philip. I just don't. I just don't. Um, when old lady gang came in, they were discussing about bar discussing barbecue sauces, lemonades. I guess other things they could sell, which I think is a great idea. Um, you saw how when she walked in, she hugged Philip. <clears throat> Cause she is not here for Philip. <laughs> A lot of us ain't. All right. So, anyways, um, Todd basically lets him know that he's gonna go into the kitchen. You know, in the confessional, Candy was like, um, "As you should." <laughs> you see, he got he got offended. Don't tell me. You don't have to tell me as you should. Like. You don't have to say nothing. <laughs> he got offended that Candy basically was like, you need to go to the, you need to go to the kid. This is the thing what it comes down to. It would be different if Todd was this, this, the, the president of like, I don't know, like an Olive Garden. The girl, they, they have about 15 Olive Gardens in every major city. You know what I'm saying? And then they probably got two or three or one in smaller cities. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't expect you to go visit all of these Olive Gardens, but with this being a family restaurant and you probably live in girl probably 30 minutes away from the restaurant, you could pop in at least once a month, probably even twice. Girl, you could pop into your, your restaurant and see what's going on. I really think that Todd is at a place where he knows that the restaurant financially is probably doing great. And that's why he doesn't really too much care. Like at the end of the day, what Shandrika said was the truth. You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck about a generator, girl. You don't give a fuck about the Yelp reviews. <laughs> like, you don't give a fuck. The only thing you care is that you're making money. That's the bottom line. I'm making money, so. These niggas still gonna come anyways. That's how I think Todd Mind is operating. Anyways, um, Brian and Don Juan. I just felt like Don Juan went, I went about this conversation all wrong now. We're just going to have to be serious, okay? Brian wants to have... A, Brian wants to have... Don Juan wants to have a conversation with Brian about his sobriety. A girl named Pebbles told Don Juan that she saw, I think, a box of wine and a container. And I guess in Brian's, Brian's belongings. Something like that, right? So, you know, he wanted to just check on Brian. I think that when, I mean, yeah, he wants to check on Brian. I think that when Brian first sat down, I think that Don Juan should have made Brian feel comfortable because I felt like I saw Brian kind of be like, basically kind of like what that bitch tell you. I think that's what he wanted to say, but he kind of just went right into it. Like, okay, so listen, about your sobriety. Girl, what? Girl, what? So Be Pebbles told me, girl, what? <laughs> girl, I think that he should have just kind of like eased his way into it. Kind of probably just like, you know, you know, I'm your friend. We care about you. I just want to come and make sure you're okay. Blah, 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 blah. I think he could have went, went about that a whole different way. Um, I don't know if Brian is lying or not. Because I, I thought that Brian, I can't remember. I thought that Brian said that he 
like was done drinking. Did he say that? See, I can't remember. I can't remember. I thought he made it seem as though he was done drinking at like period. I don't know. I thought he said it when they went out. Remember when the whole group went out, like the first, like the second or third episode when they all went out? Um, and when Shadrika made that comment about her making $12 or something like that. Um, I, I don't know the whole, I don't know how the situation works because I could see how Brian's mind is working because from his, you know, point of view, He's looking at it as though, baby, the way that I used to be drinking, that baby, that baby. Brian said he used to drink a gallon of vodka a day. He said he used to do coke every day. I think he said pills. Like he used to be lit, okay? But, so he looking at it like, baby, based on what I used to do versus now me just drinking wine, I'm good. But I think somebody else could say, girl, all you did was just substitute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm not no doctor. I'm not, you know, I don't know how it works, you know, when it comes to people who, you know, have this illness. But I could see why Brian's mind is working the way that it's working. Because that sounds like something I would probably say. Probably like, girl, I used to do, girl, uh, girl, whatever, how much coke a day and uh, drink a, now I'm only drinking wine. Bitch, I'm fine. Mind your business. You know what I'm saying? And then some people could, then I could also see other people saying like, girl, all you did was just substitute one for the other. And are you okay? Because are you tell, are, are you saying this now because you just was like, girl, I'm not going to lie about my business. Because I could have swore Brian said that he wasn't drinking. So now it's kind of like now Don Juan is bringing this information to you on camera. Girl, let me just go ahead and say, yeah, I'll be drinking wine. Well, have you drunk now? Okay, I took a tequila shot the other night. But still in his head, he's thinking, but compared to what I used to do, girl, I'm good. I hope Brian is good. Because I, 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 I do feel like I don't know. I don't know. I just hope Brian is good. Um, anyways, um, but the only thing that I will say is if Brian is walking around with a container and wine, then you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, they don't really look too good. Because it's one thing for you to be able to be like, oh, girl, I'm about to go home, I'll go home and have me a glass of wine. Girl, if you're walking around Atlanta with girl, a container with wine in it, it's kind of like, so I don't know. Um, girl, when he said Jesus loves a good piece in an extension. When he said Jesus loves a good piece in an extension, baby, I holler. I said, I know the saints. Baby, they're going to come marching in, honey. Brian, watch it. Girl, you know the girls get mad. <laughs> girl. Um... Safari decorating style. This is what I'm... Okay, listen. I feel like... I'm going to show y'all my apartment one day once I get it together. I feel like I have a very masculine feel when it comes to, like, my style of, like, my apartment. When I get my home, I feel like I'm more of, like, when I get my house. Girl. <laughs> Girl, I ain't getting no house, baby. Girl, I ain't getting no house for another but I hopefully... Anyway, girl. <laughs> when I get my house, hopefully in the next five years... Um, girl, I'm more into like grays, tans, browns. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? So that's more of my color scheme, right? But when I think of Patrick and Melvin, I feel like they will, they don't really do like the most. Like, <laughs> girl, you're out here trying to put a rug in a corner that don't even fit. You don't have to fold it up. You got a bean bag. You don't put this thing up here. Like to me, when I think about Matt, Patrick and Melvin, they give me... Like, when I think about how their apartment will be decorated, I could see them having a big-ass futon. I mean, not a big-ass futon. A big-ass sectional, right? A big, comfy sectional. Probably, like, a, a big rug. Because that's like, a, I, from what I can remember, that, that, that living room space was kind of big. From what I remember, I can't, I can't recall. But I just look at them as having a big sectional, probably a rug, 
probably like either like a big ottoman in the middle of the you know the the rug or a coffee table so they can put their weed they they game control the zone girl, you know you know what i'm saying girl have a big old tv girl the straight boys don't be doing a lot a lot a lot you know what i'm saying like they really don't girl give a bed a dresser a tv and then they be good to go throw a picture on the wall and then that's all they really need they don't really need all, they don't need the, the pillows and, you know what I'm saying? Girl, even this would probably be too much for them. The pillows that come with the couch, they good with the pillows that come with the couch. I think Safari decorating that apartment the way that she would decorate her apartment. Not based off of these straight men or just, just these men's style, period. Or off someone else's style, period. It's her style. And maybe I'm wrong on their style, but that's just what they give me. Anyways, um, when girl, when Patrick said, "Baby, when I said I screamed," so when Patrick said, "Safari made me work for it," the other girls want me to take it. How you know I want to take it? But I said, "No, he's so He said, "The other girls make me take it." I mean, I'm sorry, you're getting it wrong. I'm getting excited. He said, "Safari made me work for it." The other girls want me to take it, but how you know I want it? But I take it anyways. <laughs> Bitch, when I tell you, I holler. Anyways, Shandrika with that red hair, bitch. I say, I loved that red hair on Shandrika. Um, Don Juan pulls Shandrika outside because Rashard basically goes and tells Don Juan that Shandrika, basically, he felt some type of way about Shandrika coming up to him. Rashard, shut your ass up. It wasn't that serious for you to go tell. That's what I'm saying. Y'all be telling on the wrong shit. Girl, when he walked up to Don Juan and Don Juan said something about, hey, Sparkle, or something like that. I forgot. And then he was like, oh, you like it? He was like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time I actually laughed at something Don Juan said. Um, so he pulls, um, right. He pulls Shandrika outside. He basically lets Shandrika know, girl, it was me who told and you said it. <laughs> now, Shandrika sound like she, now I, at first I was about to take up for Shandrika. Then I realized what Shandrika was doing. Shandrika, you said it. Shandrika just want the other people to admit that they said it too. At first, Shandrika was trying to act like she didn't say it. She was just like, those were not her feelings. Those, she said it, but those were other folks' feelings, right? So I said it, but that's what they really said. I'm just repeating what they said. Then she came back and said, well, listen, I just want everybody else to say it too because I wasn't the only one who said it. So you really did say it. But <laughs> Shandrika, girl, you lying. Period. That's what, that's what I got from it. And here she go moving to her head. I mean, moving to her everywhere. Girl, moving at her, I ain't gonna stop what Don Juan I'm about to play on that phone. <laughs> okay? Girl, looking like the cheetah's man. <laughs> you know, cheetah's girl. You know, you know, on cheaters, how whenever they um show somebody cheating, <laughs> the man be like, the, the man walk up to, I don't know about Peter Guns. They say Peter Guns hosts cheaters now. You know how on cheaters, whenever they walk up and show the person, so this is them getting out of the car. This is them going into the hotel. This is him hugging her. This is him going into the room and closing the door. This is them leaving the room three and a half hours later. This is them going back into the parking lot. This is them hugging in the parking lot. Then they get back in the car. They sit in the car for 47 minutes. Girl, that's exactly how it looked like Don Juan was going sh 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 to Shandrika. Okay, um, this, uh, this review is getting too long. Girl, I talk too much. Um, so anyways, the OLG gang, everybody come up there because everybody's supposed to work in the kitchen, right? Sure. When that white man, the one of the producers, girl, he fine. Girl, I saw his Instagram page. Girl, don't, don't ask me how I found it. Girl, I can find, I can find anybody. Anyways, girl, that white man fine. And his boyfriend fine too. Girl. Anyways, um, girl, when, when, when ain't brother said, y'all already know what I went up for. When ain't brother said, if you young, got some money, you can feel it anywhere. <laughs> No money, no feel. I said, I know that's fucking right. 
Um, Todd doesn't like going into the restaurant because he says he's going to pick out everything he doesn't like. Well, nigga, it's your restaurant. Like, I, I'm telling you, I really think that Todd, when Todd got with Candy, I think that Todd hit the jackpot with Miss Candy Burris. And I think that he got very, very lucky with OLG. And I think that he's very successful with OLG. They are very successful with OLG. And I think that's all he cares about. Now, this is what I have a problem with. And this is how you catch the girls in a lie. Did y'all see that woman in that kitchen when she was making those sweet potatoes? And she was just pouring, what was that, nutmeg season? I mean, nutmeg, cin cinnamon, I don't know. Whatever she was pouring into those uh, yams, she was, she was not measuring anything. So that should let them know that the food is not consistent. There's no way she's not, with her not usually using a measuring cup, and the recipe changing from what Candy gave them that the food is consistent. You see what I'm saying? Like, Shandrika ain't been lying. Y'all might not like Shandrika because she said y'all don't fucking care. Y'all might not like, like Shandrika because she said the food ain't the same on Monday than it is on Wednesday. But it's the truth. Because there's no way if nobody's using everything that comes out of that kitchen, everything that is prepared in that kitchen, a measuring cup should be used. Period. It don't matter if it's a teaspoon, a teaspoon of salt. It don't matter if it's a teaspoon of pepper, a cup of milk, baby, five cups of cinnamon. Everything should be put in a measuring cup. That's how you know the food is consistent and it tastes the same. But when you got somebody out of there on Monday who like, oh girl, that look dark enough, we good. The person that coming another day don't know what she just, how much she just poured in there. That's why the food not gonna taste the same. Again, I've been saying Shandrika ain't lying. I told y'all the food don't be consistent, right? I've been to OLG more than a few times. <laughs> I want to go back and get them deviled eggs, but y'all health inspections, honey. Y'all put that together. They say y'all. They say y'all put bleach by the grease. <laughs> Now I don't mind girl that girl, you know girl, cause, I, cause I'm not the girl, I'm not the girl to walk out of there and be okay with, cause I'm suing the whole OLG, honey. That, that whole restaurant gonna be called Rodney's OLG by the end, of, by the end of next week, okay? Those deviled eggs, though, y'all heard Melvin said, girl, that's what they sell the most of. I'm telling y'all, I've been telling y'all since day one. Those deviled eggs at OLG. <sighs> Girl, I don't know what they put in them deviled eggs. I honestly don't. Motherfuckers, it's good. Okay? One time when I went, I got the sweet potatoes, casserole, whatever they call sweet potatoes, basically. They had a little, like, graham cracker in it. I could see it and I could taste it. Girl, off the chain. Went back. I'm like, girl, what a little graham cracker y'all here. Y'all don't be consistent with y'all food. Again, I just want to make myself clear. The food at OLG is not disgusting. It's just, it just for me, it doesn't live up to the hype. It's kind of like, oh, okay, it's good, it's decent, but it ain't, this ain't the best, this ain't even, a, even some of the best fried chicken I've never had. Now, the macaroni and cheese, bitch, it's good as hell. Anyways, I'm talking, okay, girl, I might go to OLG when I go back to Atlanta, but girl, y'all got to get y'all health inspections up, honey, because in 77 is not good for me. <laughs> um... All right, so Todd, you know, Todd, you gotta have a system. If you know the deviled eggs is this, then you need to be doing this. Todd, you don't know shit about the restaurant industry, okay? I think what y'all need to do is stop being so goddamn cheap and get somebody, get a professional, an expert in there to teach the girls how this should actually be ran. Not, oh, this is what I, this is how, you saw how Candy was like, okay. Because it's like, I feel like Todd is one of those people who just be talking. But it's like, you really don't know shit. Kind of like Marceau. Um, Mama Joy's Candy and Safari. They go to Safari's business. Um, Mama Joy's, again, looks great. She gets her little butt 
<laughs> thing. Mama Jones look good, honey. Um, I'm not trying to read nobody, and I'm not trying to shade nobody, and I'm not trying to disrespect nobody who got a low-paying job, right? Because we're a lot of us in the same boat, okay? But what Safari said, that Patrick is moving too fast and that he wants kids. Patrick, you work in a parking lot and you have a roommate, but you want to have a child. How are you going to feed the child? How are you going to take care of the child? Like y'all, I, I don't understand that. Like, I, it's like you purposely want to bring, like, I don't, I don't get it. I honestly don't. And that's not to sound mean. I just don't get it. I get that sometimes shit happens and bitch, you just walk, you wake up one day and you knocked up. <laughs> but to be like, I want some children. I want a kid. <laughs> I just wish people, I just wish, I just wish just people just did a better job of playing. I know that's not real. I know that may not be realistic for a lot of people. Again, I know shit just happens, but I just wish some people did a better job of planning children, right? And especially if you are aware, like, I want to have a child. And it's like, girl, does your system, does your lifestyle really say at this moment, is it really the best moment to bring up? A child into this world. Hmm. Um, Safari. See, Safari, this is why Safari low key, I don't like, I don't lo lo like, low key like Safari. Because Safari feels as though Shandrika doesn't like her. Did you hear her say something about it's just an unspoken rule? Was Safari trying to say, I know Shandrika doesn't like me because she's the ex or she's the girl who used to fuck my now boyfriend? So I know she, like, I really don't think Shandrika give a fuck about Safari. Not like, I don't think she dislikes Safari. I don't think she has a problem with Safari. Like, girl, I don't think Shandrika is thinking about you. Like, I really, uh, now I, I could be wrong because people are petty. Girls are petty, boys are petty. But Shandrika, I, Shandrika hasn't really shown me that she is that invested into you, Safari. Girl, you getting worked up over something that you sh shouldn't even be worked up over. And quiet as this kept, Safari and Patrick work together. And his apartment is right there behind the building. So if Shandrika wanted to hop on a dick and do a full split, she wouldn't have a problem. It wouldn't be a, a problem doing it. They can go right behind the parking lot, right, and baby, and it's on and popping. So I'm really not understanding why she's so invested in Shandrika coming to the house for me. Like again, and I know people get married and cheat and do all that shit, but it's like, girl, I don't. You like June don't care about like, and I'm not saying just because June don't care. I mean, you shouldn't care, but girl, you need to calm down. I don't, I don't know why she like that girl get on my nerves. <laughs> she do. Um, I just don't like, I just like I said, I feel like she's the type of person that walks into a room and literally sucks the energy out of the room. Like everybody could be in the room having a good time. Patrick, Shandrika, June, Dominique, Brandon, Brian, everybody. And then as soon as she walk in, everybody be like, oh, girl, there she go. Girl, you know, girl, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know Patrick about to start acting funny, girl. Hey, 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 Safari. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, thank you, girl. Oh, you like it? Thank you. Girl, I just got it done today. Right. That's, I feel like that's what happens when Safari walk into a room. <laughs> Anyways, um, Brandon. Bitch, this review is at 35 minutes. Okay, we gotta hurry up. Um, Brandon. Don Juan Philip talked to Brandon about the video. Brandon is basically, you can send her to another location. Brandon should be fired, period. I understand that this is a show. I understand that there are parts of these reality shows that they, you know, increase for entertainment. But you fucking 
your subordinate or you fucking someone who you manage is not acceptable, period. It will not work on my clock. And I, I ain't even got to be no manager. If I found out management was having sex or had a relationship with somebody who they managed, I would be pissed off because at that point, I know that you're not treating her fairly. You're not treating the bitch who's giving you pussy and probably getting on her knees and sucking your dick the same way you're treating everybody else, period. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. Sorry. Sorry. Brandon should be fired, period. The situation it's a reason why you can't have you can't have relationships with the people who you manage because things can go left real fast you don't know if that girl I'm, I'm just saying i'm not saying that it could it's gonna happen with dominique that what if she what if one day she get pissed you cheat on her she get pissed off and said oh my god he's been sexually harassing me like, i'm just saying like y'all were gonna tell me he should be fired before he left that meeting, the only option that, the only thing that Brandon should have understood is that I have to call off this relationship with Dominique or I will be terminated, P period. Ain't none of that, oh, we just gotta make sure that we keep it professional, no. They told me that if I don't cut off the relationship with you, I'm terminated. And quiet as this kept, they shouldn't even be giving him an option. It should have been, oh baby, uh, you gotta go. Some people will say both of them should be fired, right? Brandon goes to see Dominique. I didn't like how he popped up at that girl's job like that. I didn't. I thought it was weird. I thought it was, girl, like crazy. Like Dominique told him, basically, you can't be popping up here like that. Because you saw how they looked at him. Did you see how the, the girl, the choreographer looked at him like, who is this? Because... What Dominique was basically trying to tell him, and here he go, I got you. No, you don't. You don't run shit. You don't run shit at OLG. You don't run nothing over here. If you keep, if you pop up at my job, what if they go tell the person who, you know, gets the word back to Rick Ross? Well, you know, we have a dancer, but her boyfriend, like, he popped up a couple of times. Because people think, like, oh, that's a crazy psycho boyfriend who's jealous. You see what I'm saying? He shouldn't have been up there, period. I'm pre I know that production probably said go up to Dominic job, but he should have been like, uh, nah, uh-uh. I'll wait. I'll text her and tell her to meet me in the parking lot after she's done. Not let me go up there and then open up the door and then walk inside the room. Girl, what? Are you slow or is you dumb? Girl. Anyways, Brandon's still fine though. Girl, I said all that. All right. That's it. I'm done. I'll talk to y'all girls later. This review was way longer than what I thought it was going to be. Y'all know how I get when I start running my trap. Um, I think that was it. it got, it's it's going to be it. Bye, y'all.